Kindergarten Garden. And today, we're going to be measuring pumpkins. We are going to be measuring the weight, the length, height, and capacity of pumpkins. Let's measure the weight of our pumpkins. Weight is how heavy or light something is. I have two balance scales. This scale measures bigger objects. This is the type of scale that you stand on to measure your weight. This type of balance scale is used for objects and smaller things that you want to see how heavy or light it is. This one measures in pounds. I wonder how heavy this big pumpkin is. Hmm. Okay. It's not going up. Still at zero. That means that this pumpkin does not quite weigh a pound. So it's less than a pound. Now let's weigh our small pumpkin. For this small pumpkin, we're going to use this type of scale. This is called a balance scale. You put objects on each side to see which one is heavier and which one is lighter. If it's even like it is right now, that means they're equal. I'm gonna put the pumpkin on this side. <gasps> Did you notice how it went down? Now I have some special counting bears to put on this other side. I need your help measuring how many bears it takes to weigh the same as the pumpkin. All right, I need your help seeing when it starts to go down. This is a pretty heavy pumpkin. Okay, let's try to add a lot more. It's starting to move. Is it equal? I think so. Okay, now let's count them and see how many bears it took to weigh the same as the pumpkin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31! Wow! Our pumpkin weighs 31 bears. Let's find out which one of these small pumpkins weighs more. They look about the same size. I wonder if they weigh the same. Can you make a prediction as to which one you think is heavier? Do you think this one or this one is heavier? Hmm, let's find out. <gasps> Whoa! So which one is heavier? Were you right? Hmm. Heavier. How do we know it's heavier? It goes down. The one that goes down further is heavier. 
And the one that is more up in the air is lighter. Let's measure the length of our pumpkin. We're going to see how long it is from end to end. First, we're going to use non-standard tools to measure. Non-standard tools are objects that you can use that typically don't have numbers on them. I'm going to use yarn to help measure the distance around our pumpkin. And did you know what? There's a big word for that. It's called circumference. Can you say that with me? Circumference. Great job. Circumference is the distance around a circular object. And our pumpkin is sort of like a circular object. It's round. I'm going to make a prediction. I think it's gonna be this long. Get my scissors and carefully cut my yarn. Okay, I've made my prediction. Now let's test it and see if I was right. We measure from end to end. So I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna make it tight, as tight as I can. Put my finger there. And now I'm going to cut it off. To measure. I'm going to take it and remember you need to do from end to end. Going around and I'm going to see what number it comes at. This is the centimeter side. It comes right at the 77. Now let's measure the height of our pumpkin. The height is how tall a person or object is. So first I'm going to use non-standard tools. I have my blocks here. Let's see how many blocks tall our pumpkin is. Help me count. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Is it to the top yet? Not yet. Let's keep going. Oh, I forgot how many that was. Help me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, hmm, not quite, 13, that's about right, 13. Our pumpkin is 13 blocks tall. Great counting. Now, let's use standard tools to measure the height of our pumpkin. I'm going to get my ruler. This is called a ruler. It will help me measure how tall it is. So, let's see across. It's about 11 inches tall. Wow! Great job helping me measure the length height of our pumpkin. Now let's measure our little pumpkin. How wide do you think 
our little pumpkin will be. Hmm. Let's use our non-standard yarn again. Hmm, I'm gonna make another prediction. I think it's gonna be this long. Okay, let's see if I was right. Remember, it's from end to end, so I have to make sure it goes all the way and back to the start. It's a little tricky on round objects, but it's about right there down the middle, because the middle is the widest part. Okay, right there. Now let's cut it and see how wide it is. And remember our big word, what was it? Circumference. We're measuring the circumference, which is the distance around a circular object. Wow! So which one was longer? Which one was longer and wider around? The big pumpkin or the little pumpkin? The big pumpkin is wider. Great job! Now let's use our standard unit of measurement. The one with numbers. To be the same, we're going to use the centimeter side again. And we're gonna go end to end. And we started right there, and that's where we're gonna stop. Put my finger there. It comes right at the 29. This little pumpkin is 29 centimeters. Let's see how many blocks tall our little pumpkin is. Help me count. One, two, not quite. Three. One, two, three. Our little pumpkin is three blocks tall. Now let's use our standard tool, the ruler. It comes right about there. Great job measuring the length and height of our two pumpkins. Here's a test. Which one was taller? The big pumpkin? or the little pumpkin. The big pumpkin is taller. So which one is shorter? The little pumpkin is shorter. You can look at it, or you can also measure to see how tall it is. I'm going to measure how many pumpkins tall I am. I'm going to stand up nice and tall. I'm going to use my hand to help me measure. Okay, I need your help counting up to see how many pumpkins tall I am. Can you help me count? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. I am nine pumpkins tall. I wonder how tall you are. Let's talk about capacity. Capacity is how much a container can hold. I have different size bowls. I have small, medium, and large. I'm going to see how many of my little pumpkins each container will hold. I need your help counting. One, two, three, four. I don't think you can fit any more. Okay, so this small container will hold four little pumpkins. 
Hmm. I wonder how many the medium bowl will hold. Help me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The medium bowl will hold nine pumpkins. Hmm. How many do you think the large bowl will hold? Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think it can hold more. Let's keep going. 10, 11, 12. Our large bowl can hold 12 little pumpkins. So which container holds more? Small, medium, or large? The large container holds more. Thank you for helping me measure our pumpkins today. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for pumpkins that we get to enjoy and all that we can learn from pumpkins. Help us to let our light shine for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a blessed day and let your light shine for Jesus.